Apple wrapped up their Scary Fast event just a few hours ago, and we pretty much got everything we were expecting. They announced their new line of free nanometer chips. The M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max, and with them, the machines that will use their power. First and foremost, they finally got rid of the 13-inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar. So they are replacing it with this new level for the MacBook Pro 14-inch. And you can now get it for just 1600 bucks with the base M3 chip, which I think is a much better option if you're actually going to go for a pro device because you are getting that new design with the notch and stuff but most importantly you are getting that gorgeous pro motion display the only thing that i dislike about apple's offering here is that these machines start with eight gigabytes of ram so i think if you want to future proof this machine to have it for a long time you are going to need to upgrade to at least 16 gigabytes of ram and that is going to jump up the price to 1800 bucks which by that point you could consider upgrading for 200 dollars more to the m3 pro also, as Apple do, they have made sure that people around you know that you have the latest and greatest model. But that is the case only if you have the M3 Pro or the M3 Max. Because if you have the base M3 chip, you can still pick the regular space gray or silver finishes. But if you have the M3 Pro or M3 Max, you now get space black instead of space gray. Oh, and by the way, the 16-inch model starts with the M3 Pro chip. So you cannot get the base chip on the 16-inch. And to be honest, like most of you guys out there, I I love the matte black color scheme. It will go so well with the space black on the iPhones. But I just do feel that with this color combination of black and black, these MacBooks are kind of looking like every other laptop on the market. So let me know what you think about this brand new space black color. Would you go for it? Other than the spec and slight visual changes, the M3 chips are also getting better graphics. As we were expecting, the maxed out M3 Max can now go all the way up to 40 GPU cores, which is absolutely insane and for all of you gamers out there, you can now also do ray tracing on the Mac. And also, only the maxed out M3 Max can now go to 128 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, and good news, they also refreshed the iMac with the M3. I think it's an okay move that they didn't refresh the whole design over here. It's still looking friendly as ever with the same colors available while getting the upgrade to the new chip. But the only thing that I'm upset about are the accessories. Because right now would have been the perfect time to upgrade them to USB. USB-C. But to be fair, they probably have a huge stockpile of accessories with Lightning. So I think the iMac is going to get used to get rid of those for at least another two years. Well, I can still hope to get a new Magic Mouse redesign at WWDC. So the question is, should you be upgrading this time around? I do think that if you are already using an M-chip MacBook Pro, then you shouldn't be upgrading just yet. Like we will see how much of a performance jump the M3 will make when reviewers get their hands on it, but from the overall graphs, they were mostly comparing M3 to M1, which means there isn't such a big jump between M2 and M3. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still like 15%, which is way above industry standard. But if you're not one of the special individuals who are using the M2 Max to the max, then you should probably wait for the M4 to get a whole design refresh. So what did you think about the whole event? Are you going to be upgrading or getting a Mac for the first time? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's going to be it for today and I will see you in the next one. And as I was finishing up the edit for this video, I just noticed this. The whole event was shot on an iPhone and I didn't even notice.